Okay, I'm in upstate, not upstate, northeast Wyoming, and that is Devil's Tower. The general mechanism by which it formed is about a hundred million years ago, this was a huge inland ocean, and over the course of um, a, few, a few tens of millions of years, this inland ocean filled up with sediment, um, sediment, sediments of one sort or another, which then formed sedimentary rocks. Then the collision of the continental US plate, um, sorry, the subduction of the Pacific Oceanic plate going under the continental US plate um, caused two things to happen. First of all it caused uplift, which meant that what was then the inland ocean was no longer the inland ocean. The subduction also creates a, a, a huge amounts of heat which um, cause um, little bubbles of, well not little, <laughs> this sort of size, but um, bubbles of magma to come up. Now it's not entirely clear if this one made it to the surface or not, but it's certainly volcanic in nature and there are three of these um, uh, volcanic plugs in this very local area. Devil's Tower is the only one that looks like this, this sort of strange crystalline appearance. It's not actually crystalline. You actually look around at the rocks and, I mean, take a look. I mean, they're, 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 so these are all rocks that have fallen off, these are all rocks that have fallen off the tower. And as you can see, they're just yeah, huge blocks of granite. So what caused this is probably some sort of differential um, cooling mechanism. Now, it's, the mechanism is clearly not unique because this general pattern, these huge hexagon blocks of granite, is found elsewhere in the world in places like uh, well, there's the Devil's Post Pile and there's uh, Giant's Causeway in both Scotland and Ireland. Now, okay, so after this pocket of magma had pushed up into the sedimentary rock, it then solidified and as um, the whole area had been uplifted, it's the, the sedimentary, softer sedimentary rocks got eroded away and all you're left with is the volcanic plug. So this poses a bit of a problem for creationists because how do you account for Devil's Tower? Presumably you can't have the same mechanism as the geologist because that would mean that your sediments would have been laid down in Noah's flood. Then you'd have the volcanic plug come up, and then you'd have had all this sort of kilometres, no, about two kilometres, of sedimentary rock eroded away. And all of that happened in 4,000 years. To which the obvious response is, you're barking mad. But I would really like to know, how do creationists explain Devil's Tower? Other than it was created by the devil, of course, too test their faith.